I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is anticipated romance releases for March. These are primarily indie, although I do have a couple traditional ones thrown in here today. These are ones that I personally am interested in. So I like diverse indie romance. That's kind of my jam. That's going to be the majority of what these videos always are. Okay. So I'm going to start with um, one that actually releases the day that you see this video, February 28th, and that is One Night, One Bite by Drea Anderson. This is Black Vampires. It is a short, so you should expect under 50 pages probably. She writes really low angst, low conflict, paranormal black romance, and I love her shifter books. This will be my first vampire book by her. I think it might be her first vampire book, but I'm really excited about it. I'll be reading it right away. You should probably expect insta lust mates and you know black vampires so i'm very excited about that i will definitely be reading that on release day unless things go drastically wrong in my life <laughs> then on the third vicious devotion which is wet in the wild number one by avita vice is out after reading the prequel a year and a half ago as a beta reader for them I am so ready for this book. This is the full length book. It is a thruple. Nope, that's wrong. It is a foursome. A quaffle? That can't be right. <laughs> okay, so basically this is very kinky. And also you have these paranormals who are not shifters. So they have animalistic features in a humanoid bipedal form. Okay. So this is not beginner. I would not recommend that you start with the Vita Vice here. I would not recommend that you start with monster romance here or kink. I wouldn't start with kink here either. <laughs> this is advanced, okay? But we have a harpy that their entire clan was demolished. Turns out maybe there were some shady things going on, but their entire clan was demolished. They're taken by their enemies. They're going to be forced to wed the female alpha of this other pack. And so it will be the two of them. But then the prequel, we also have a couple of the enforcers that have met her on the battlefield many times. And they are escorting her back to the clan and they stop to blow off some steam. And she wants to join in and it's like consensual non-consent and things like that. Very, a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so I have just been waiting and waiting and waiting because I haven't got, got to see the four of them interact and I love a V device. I've read all of their work. So this is like easily one of my most anticipated books of the year. And it's almost here as long as Amazon actually allows it because they suck. Then on the 14th for Never by Aurora Rose Reynolds is out. Okay, listen. <laughs> I like Aurora Rose Reynolds, but she's very hit or miss. Some, especially like her continuation series, have been very meh in recent years. But I feel like when she does write outside of that, it's okay. Not as great as it used to be, but okay. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good um, recommendation there, but like... Let's just set our expectations. This is likely not to be the best thing we've ever read, okay? But she writes Insta Lust, Insta Love. It's the boom. It's, you know, knowing that this is your person and being willing to do any and everything for them. It's usually small town alphas. This one is not small town. This is a fake fiance with your boss and flying on his private jet and stuff. So I don't know if it's a billionaire or what, but I'll be reading it. So. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> then A Marriage of Convenience. We have Hostile Takeover by Christina C. Jones. This is likely to be released in the late teens of March. We should be getting a date later this week. So either follow her on Instagram or if you follow me on Instagram, I'm almost to a thousand followers over there. Um, you know, it'll be in my stories when she announces it. So we should definitely have a date later this week. But this Okay, <laughs> so I watched her YouTube video talking about this release and she said about how it's like in the darker, grittier, anti up, uh, Predators MC, all of those. And that's not my favorite of her wheelhouses. Um, it just is not. <laughs> However, I'm still going to read it 
and this is marriage of convenience she's never done it before obviously there's like a company hostile takeover and they kind of hate each other and you're going to hate him and then eventually you're going to love him but black love always by christina c jones and i really want to see what she does with this trope i have like i said i'm a little nervous because that's not my favorite of her like things that she writes but I'm still going into it with very high expectations and we'll be reading it as soon as it releases so then also maybe on the 17th but maybe not possession which is kink camp number two by a anders is coming out i loved hunted which was primal play which is amazing this does take place on a kink camp so like you are going to see lots of other kinks represented besides the couple that you're following and we saw the setup for this book in the last one so we're actually getting a celebrity which is not my favorite thing but we're getting a celebrity and the world finds out about his kink right and it's like a scandal at the end of the last book because his fake girlfriend is the all-american sweetheart and but they were fake which obviously the world doesn't know but then she's gonna find out about his kink and things are gonna get real <laughs> So Stuff and Novelty Corner I know has an arc of this so if you you know tune into her weekly recent reads you should be able to see an early review. I trust Steph's opinion with my life so <laughs> I'm just really really excited because the first one was a really good kink rep and I'd like to see what she does with this one. Then on the 21st, The Girl in the Woods, which is Mr. Pine number two by Kristen Ashley is coming out. This is her romantic thriller series. I have no idea who or what this is about, but last year, the for like first week of January, the first book came out, I read it immediately, and I have not stopped thinking about it, to be honest. So maybe I'll do a reread. Oh. Maybe I'll do a reread of the first one, but I am really looking forward to the second one. Romantic thriller. She tends to write a lot of romantic suspense, and I will say that the romantic thriller series, she has changed a little bit. It's still very much the same kind of flavor, but the pacing and some of the plot things are a little bit different, and I think do make it work as actually romantic thriller rather than her usual romantic suspense. So it's a small town with mysteries abounding so I'm so ready. <laughs> then on the 22nd The Fae Princes which is Vicious Lost Boys number four by Nikki St. Croix is coming out. This is a why choose Peter Pan magical retelling right and I will say well I have very much enjoyed this. This series is nothing but vibes nothing but vibes. So you either really like it or you really dislike it I feel like I like it but I don't like it as much as my friends do. <laughs> However, we do a live show discussing these books. It will be on Happy For Now's channel probably the last weekend of March and because we get to read it together and discuss it together and discuss all of our things that really like gives me more enjoyment of the book. So I'm really looking forward to reading it for the live show <laughs> and you know that's like one of the great things about the book community is truly when you do get to talk spoilers and you get to talk about all the things with the book with other people who have read that specific book so I'm very much looking forward to it if you like this series this is the final book in the series there will be some spin-offs we think but this is the final book in the series after I thought the last one was the final book in the series and so I'm curious to see what she does with it. Big finale, big steamy scenes, all of the things. And uh, we're going to do that live show. Then on the 28th, A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher comes out. I love T. Kingfisher, okay? I particularly love their fantasy romance. I have read some of their YA fantasy and their darker fairy tale. And I'm trying, going to be trying some of their horror all of their books have like some horror elements to it but I don't read horror. I don't watch horror. I am not that. <laughs> I get stressed out by all of the things like I can't do it. So I 
feel like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like if I am going to try any horror, it would probably benefit me to try it by this author that I really love. So this one, um, I think they had like a relative who passed away and they're there to take care of the house and things are not as they appear. She writes a really good creep factor. So I will not be reading this right away or any of the things because I will read it when eventually two years from now I can get it from the library. <laughs> but is on my radar. I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's reviews of it because I love T. Kingman Fisher, even if this is not my preferred subgenre genre that they write. And then lastly, Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jesse Q. Sutato. This is an old lady murdering people, giving advice for murder, solving a murder, one of those things. Um, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've read two books by Jesse Q. Sutanto, Dial A for Aunties and Four Aunties at a Wedding. One made my best of the year list and one made my worst of the year list. <laughs> so to say that I have mixed expectations is an understatement. However, again, when I do get it from my library, I will be trying it. I'm looking forward to trying it. I do really like the author as a person. Have had very mixed results with their work and I don't know where this one's going to fall. So, you know, old ladies and murders. What's, there you go. If that's, your, if that's your jam, then it's already your jam, right? So that's it. I do feel like I have not crossed my T's and dotted my I's for this list this month. I feel like I'm forgetting some things. So if you have anything that you're really looking forward to that is coming out in March, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Let everyone else know. And yeah, let me know if you found out and want to read any of these. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.